Today, we're gonna shoot some NPCs. And see what we get. Now that could mean a lot of things, but I'm sure you guys know just from the title or the thumbnail, this is the CSGO case mod. And it's going to act similarly to, I presume at least, how CSGO cases work. Now I do want to mention real quick that I don't think that they drop this frequently in Counter-Strike 2, but pretty much what you want to do is you're gonna want to shoot some NPCs. Now you're gonna notice that we did not get anything there, in fact, we might continue to get nothing because that's unfortunately how RNG works. And when it comes to Valve's RNG, well, you're pretty much better off buying a lottery ticket. Now if only there was a way to increase the odds so that we didn't have to sit here for an hour trying to get a case. Aha, but there is a command, and it's pretty simple. Simply type this in, go ahead and pick this one, and then we can adjust the drop chance. We're going to make it 1.0, or maybe just 1. Now our odds should have gone up quite a bit. And there we go, we got our first case. So, you can adjust the drop chance as much as you want, it is kind of annoying how many of them you have to kill, but hey, look at that, we got another one. All right, so we have the case. How do we open it? Because I don't want to sit here shooting these Odessas all day. Well, instead of opening up the console, we're going to open up, well, the chat. Now, don't worry, guys, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over so you can see. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but you're going to type in exclamation point GRW and then help. This is going to give you commands for pretty much everything that you'd want to use. So first off, we have an option that shows us the amount of cases we have. We have an option to open a random case. We even have an option to make rolls end quicker. And we can set the opacity of the rolling animation. And then a few other things that aren't really all that important. What I'm more interested in though is this option. We're going to go ahead, paste this in, and boom. Alright, so we got the lighter. Sorry guys, I had to cancel that because, well, I had to shift it back so you could see the animation. Let's go ahead and try that once again because I do have two. This is the animation that does play out. Now, here's the interesting thing. The weapon or the item you get is going to be based on the stuff you have installed. So, we just got, what was that, a cube map something? Ah, a cube map tester. Everything I ever wanted. Now we can see all the cube maps in this particular map. Definitely seen some higher res stuff back in my day, but you know what? It's Source Engine, what are you gonna do? But we also got a lighter, and now that lighter is going to be a lot more useful. However, it's also going to create some very strange errors up there. Alright, well so far our luck is not looking too good, but that just turned around because we got a bunch of random cases. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get, come on. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. We got the Bison. And this is going to be from the Modern Warfare pack. So if you guys are bored and you're tired of using the same weapons, this might be an interesting way to uh, shake things up and get something random. Let's see what else we get. We get the Stayer Scout. Awesome. I don't know what this thing does. If it can one-shot Odessa, it's good enough for me. And look at that, we got another case. Let's go ahead and open that up and see what else we get. And we get the OICW. All right, this one is going to take me back. Uh, do we even have that equipped? All right, I'm not sure why, but that one is not popping up and I don't know where it could have gone. So uh, I guess we're just gonna roll again. Here we go, what are we getting? And we get the camera? Huh. Whoa, that is smooth. Alright, so I guess if I ever wanted to have a smoother camera, well, I found my mod. So like I said guys, your mileage may vary. It really is hard to tell exactly what you'll get because, well, again, random. And if you don't have a lot of, well, weapon mods installed, you might get some pretty weird options like this medkit which is not your standard med kit. You can use it on your buddies. But we want to kill Odessa, not heal him. So let's see if we can get a new tool of destruction. Now we're talking. All right, we got the crossbow. So the crossbow is going to be, uh, I believe the Modern Warfare weapon-based crossbow. 
and it's one of my favorites. All right, guys, I know this is getting kind of tedious. This really is a pretty simple mod, but a really fun one at the same time. So I had to showcase it because I thought it would be pretty fun and interesting. We got the Uzi, kind of funny because we got the MP7 just shortly before that. I don't know if there's any different kinds of cases. I've only ever gotten just the random case. Oh, now we got the AUG. Okay, now we're getting some real firepower. So overall, really cool. If you guys are a CSGO fan, I think you'll get a kick out of this mod. It's more of a novelty than anything because, well, playing Gary's mod with modern microtransactions really kind of makes me want to jump off a cliff somewhere. Just kidding, I'm totally sane. But all I'm saying is you might be better off not downloading this. But hey, I say give it a shot. It's fun, and if you like CSGO, well, this might tickle your fancy. And there you guys have it. That was the CSGO case opening mod. Definitely kind of a goofy, quirky mod. Something that like no one would ever do a video on, but that's why you're here on Necro's videos where we do videos on things so mundane and so well odd that you wouldn't really expect any sane YouTuber to do it, but here we are anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this until the end. Leave a like and subscribe if you want. Links are down below. Use code NECROS94 to save 20% off your next G Fuel order. I'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, farewell. Thank <laughs> you.